Hey honey, do you know what this is? Hey guys, Russell here. Did you know in 2023 there was $1.6 billion in nationwide commissary sales? Well, I've been doing a little bit of research and today we're gonna to be trying the most frequent inmate meals for 24 hours. All right guys, it's 7.30 in the morning. Uh, believe it or not, after doing some research, uh, all the facilities and institutions I've been to, I've never seen this, but uh, I've seen a couple videos of an egg sandwich uh, with a beef stick. So I got an egg, a beef stick, and some bread. We're gonna see what happens here. be the last step here. Mm -hmm. Old beef stick. You stick with the egg. I may or may not have dropped a lot of egg on the floor with help of my son, but it'll be okay. Here we go. This video should be called How to Chew an Egg Sandwich for 24 Hours. That was awful. The beef stick, maybe I got the wrong one. I didn't use a summer sausage or something. I just used a regular beef stick. But the beef stick was so hard to like chew one to that it was almost impossible just to even be able to chew it. It took me forever. So we're going to head to the gym and uh, I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, I just got to the gym here. Uh, if any of your family members, anybody you know, or you've ever watched a movie or anything, majority of uh, guys that's incarcerated, we're gals. They like to work out to either one, stay in shape, or two, just to kill time. Uh, a lot of people like to work out on the street, but it's more popular in here to stay shape, stay healthy. Uh, I'm gonna do a little workout here, three sets of uh, some typical prison workouts. Uh, if they didn't have weights, it's more common nowadays for inmates to get their weights taken away. So a lot of places around the country do not have weights no more. They didn't want the inmates getting bigger than the officers, I guess, or something. But I'm going to shoot a little bit of videos and I'll put them here. Thanks. guys just finished my workout here oddly enough uh if you're not used to doing calisthenics sometimes they really beat you up my legs just from a couple sets of squats are already throbbing but uh it was a great little workout i see why you may do it they always do high high repetition they like to do a lot of high volume uh due to not having weights so just keep that in mind uh usually a lot of repetitions in there i'm gonna go get this post-workout meal and uh i'll get back with you over there Hey guys, I'm back here after my uh, my little workout, little post-workout meal here. Um, just your ordinary prison brick, as a lot of people call it. 
Um, there's lots of different variations. I found this one online. It looked pretty good. I'm going to try it out. It's using uh, Cheez-Its, pork rinds, lemon hot Cheetos, beef ramen, and a different variation of beef stick. So I'm going to put this together and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, I'm honestly not gonna lie. I completely did this brick wrong. It was together, and then as I pulled it out of the Ziploc bag, it started to fall apart. Maybe that's just what happens sometimes. I'm not really sure, but to be completely honest, uh, it doesn't look too appealing. All right, guys, I just finished it up here. Uh, here it is. Uh, I had a hard time getting the brick to stay together. I don't, initially I put too much water and I had to dump some out. So I don't know if maybe that's what it was, too much water initially or whatnot. I will say right off the bat, when I started to make it, uh, it just smells so bad. It does not smell good whatsoever. It, it smells disgusting, like straight up disgusting. I don't know how well it's going to taste. Again, it doesn't look appealing. I'm gonna try to make sure I get like a portion with uh, some of the beef stick in it. So it'll be a little bit better, but I have this water right here so I can make sure it gets down, but here we go, we're gonna try it. I'm not exaggerating when I say it's probably the nastiest thing I've ate, excuse me, ate in a very, very long time. The texture is like a soggy, ugh, like a soggy chip, basically. I mean, it makes sense because you've got soggy, literally soggy chips, but it just tastes so soggy. And then it's got like a overwhelming sensation of, uh, the Cheetos, I may have put too much Cheeto on here. I'm not too much of a hot Cheeto guy anyways, but it just, it was an overwhelming flavor of different things that I didn't understand that came way too fast to me. So I would have to absolutely never make this if I ever go to prison. This is uh, something I will never make. I've seen a lot of inmates make, excuse me, make it, and they really enjoy it, and they share it, so on and so forth, but I'm not that guy. I would never be eating one of these again. All right, guys, we finally made it to the last meal here. We're not going to do dinner because we know dinner in prison always slaps. So we're just going to move to a snack right before dinner here. Um, it's going to be a honey bun, Snickers, and a Reese cup. I actually really enjoy Reese cups, so I think I like this. Um, I haven't had Snickers in a long time, 
The Snickers aren't bad either. The last meal we had, I had to try to not puke. It was probably one of the worst things I've ever had. Uh, it was horrendous. I would never, ever eat that again. So you'll never catch me eating that. If I, you know, ever happen to go to prison or something, don't ask me for that because I'm not cooking it. I'm not making it. I'm not doing nothing to do with it. It's supposed to be with Oreo as well, but I couldn't find Oreos, but I don't really like Oreos, so I'm not too worried about it, but that's what it looks like here. Let's try it. I'll tell you what, right off the bat, you get both the honey bun and the Snickers, like, overwhelm you. But I have to say, out of all the meals, this is by far the best. I know it's a snack. Maybe I'm being, maybe I'm being biased because of the Reese cup or something. But this is by far the best. The first one, the breakfast wasn't too bad. It uh, the beef sticks just kind of threw it off. If it had a softer meat, it would have been probably pretty good for real. But um, the second one, absolutely horrible. I'd never eat again. But this, I could see myself eating something along the lines of this. I don't know if it would be exactly this, but something along the lines of this. It would give you a crazy sugar rush, though, so I would watch what you're doing, especially, you know, if you're diabetic or so on and so forth. I would not eat something like this. But uh, for your average Joe that just wants a quick sugar rush, this might be your way to go. Uh, and all these items aren't too expensive on commissary either, so it doesn't seem like it would be a bad uh, go-to snack. So, guys, we finally completed it. 24 hours of eating commissary items. Uh, I will say it was a ride. I wasn't expecting uh, some of the food to be as bad as it was. I've been working in an institution for five years, and I've seen inmates make things like that every single day and chow down on it like it's uh, Little Caesar's Pizza or something. So I'm very shocked, especially the brick. Again, I may have did it wrong. You can correct me in the comments if I did. Uh, but I just want to make something very clear. Uh, the prison food is not very good. If you have a family member, a loved one, someone you know, they would really benefit to you putting money on their books so they can get these type of items and have the ability to make this type of stuff. Everybody's only one mistake away from a felony. So I want everybody to keep that in mind as you watch this video. And don't think I'm being ignorant to the fact of this food not being good or anything like that. Uh, but I just want everybody to have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next time. Like and subscribe, guys. See you.